Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we're gonna see the problem check completeness of a binary tree before starting. If you guys are liking the video, then please do hit the like button. It's, it helps me motivate a lot, a lot. So yeah, before further ado, let's start. Um, and after like after watching the video, if you like it, then you can also put it after the watching the video. But yeah, uh, the problem is check the completeness of a binary tree. Firstly, it is said that we are given the root of a binary tree and we have to find out if, okay, if it is complete binary tree or not. Firstly, what is a complete binary tree? Basically, a complete binary tree is that, let's say if the tree has n levels. So the n minus one levels, which means except the last level, all the other levels should be completely filled, should be completely filled. And the last level should be filled from left to right which means that every node should be as left as possible for example in this case you can see the node right here is not as left as possible here's a space right here right so it is not a complete binary tree which means that firstly the m minus one levels it should be should be completely filled but the last level it can be empty but Every node should be filled from left to right, which means node should be here, 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 and so on and so forth. It is not like that, okay, the one node is not here, and one node is here, which means that the null is found here, which is not possible. Which means that every node should be as left as, left as possible, or we can place, start placing the nodes from left to right, and we can't skip any node, which means that null cannot come, a null cannot come before any node. That is the condition. And let's quickly see okay a few examples of this problem as you can see the all these levels are completely filled because a node is here a node is here a node is here and the last level it's filled from left to right and no other spaces are left because the next element it will all for sure would come after this so it's complete binary tree we are good we will return a true good uh next one is that okay n minus one levels are completely filled we are good good but if you see the last level then what happened in the last level is that one place which is this place it's empty which means null and after that we had this element so the last level does not satisfy the condition of a binary tree so it's not a complete binary tree so we will return a false now as we were seeing okay what is the definition of a complete binary tree we itself stated one thing you noticed that before a node a null node should not have come which means that every time i should encounter a node maybe after that i'll encounter many nulls but before any actual node non-null node a null should never come and that's a complete intuition of this problem that before an actual node a null node should not have come which is actually the definition of a binary tree firstly here i've started okay actually what's the binary tree, the complete binary tree definition you can just read it out but i have explained it in the pretty well way first method to do this problem is via bfsc a tree traversal it can be via bfs or via dfs because it's just a tree traversal and we have to see okay if there's a node and a null node should not have come before it we, we just have to check this condition and we can do it via BFS or DFS anything. Let's see how via BFS. So first we will try to see okay how via BFS. So if it is if we are going 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 then we encountered let's say we encountered this node 7 and as you can easily see a node null has come before it. You just have to check the same thing via this BFS which means that in my BFS I'll just try pushing on the nodes which means let's say at every not null node basically i've asked myself okay have i encountered any null node before if i am standing at let's say five have i encountered any, any null node before no good if i am standing at here i have no if i'm standing at here have i encountered anything any not null before no right good i'm standing here have i encountered any not null before mm -hmm. yes so it's not a complete binary tree if maybe further it has many nulls and all that stuff so we, we like we don't care because we actually care about the actual nodes right so it's the same thing that at every step i'll check okay i'll ask myself have i encountered any not null node if i have 
got not like it's got null so far which means the not null node have I, have I have encountered any null node so far if i have encountered a null node if the answer is no that okay i have not encountered the null node then okay it's a complete binary tree it can be like maybe i have to iterate on every node but if in total it's it is that okay it's a complete binary tree but if i have encountered any null node before and i am standing on a not null node firstly then god oh god you are done it's not a complete binary tree anymore let's see with a complete iteration so as you can see that okay firstly we are at one i am standing at one i'll check okay have i encountered any not null node so far i have just a variable a boolean variable got null so far it's false cool it's done one is drawn out from the queue then it's child two and three it came in the queue cool still i'll just iterate on two and i'll see okay have i encountered any not null before one was earlier but it was not null so have i encountered any like null before which means i have not encountered any none like null before so still it's false and i just removed it and i just inserted its child which is 4 and 5 i have encountered 3 i asked have i encountered any null before it will say okay i have not encountered any null before because i have encountered 1 and 2 so still it will just go out of the queue and say it is false because i have not encountered any null before and his child's which is Three's left child is null and right child is seven. So I just push it in the queue. Null and seven. There it is. This. Now I'm standing like three is gone. Now I'm standing at four. I'll ask, have I encountered any, any null before? I've encountered any one. I have only encountered one, two, and three, which are all not nulls. Okay. I've not encountered any null like null before. So my got null so far is false. I'll push in the childs of four, which are actually null and null. Cool. Which are actually null and null. Cool. Now I'll just remove this four. I'll iterate on five. Have I encountered any null, null before? I've encountered only one, two, three, four. Not null. All of them. So I'll just remove five and push in its childs, which are null and null. Cool. Still so far, got null is false now i am standing at what my five is done my four is done i'm standing here have i encountered any not null any null before before i'm saying no right okay cool i'm standing here at this i have not encountered any null before which means i am here i have not encountered any null before i'll just say false but my got null will become a true because now i have got one null cool cool no worries now i just move on to the next node which is seven i will I, I will ask him have i encountered any null before he will go and ask my variable called got null it will say yes you encountered last time right so it, it was made true which means that you have encountered a null node before before a not null node which means before an actual node seven you got a null node which means that for sure the gap was there so it is not complete which means that it is not complete and thus it's not a complete binary tree and that's the same thing in this that before encountering seven i have encountered a null thus it's not a complete binary tree let's see if it would have been a complete binary tree, what would have happened i would have encountered one not null two not null three not null four not null five not null six not null after that i've got a null but for sure i know because after this variable i will never get an actual node so for which i'm gonna check okay have i got a not a null before because see here it is null cool after that it's null 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 maybe whatsoever but actual node has not occurred right actual node let's say eight it, it would have occurred let me be then i would have said okay oh i have got a not I've got a null before, so it's not a complete binary. But yeah, I have not encountered anything such that. So it is that okay. I have not, up till these elements, I have not encountered any null before, so it's a complete binary tree. And it's the same thing which we have to implement in the BFS, which means in BFS I will just push on every nodes. It's just a pretty standard BFS. I just pushed on every node, and at the start of the BFS, I just dropped out the first element. I just check okay if it's a null node. 
then i need to mark my variable called as hot null so far as true because it will help me to figure out in my not null part when the node is not null to check okay have i encountered a not null have i encountered a null node before or not if the null node before is true then i have to return a false because sorry god sorry i have found a null node before a node not which is not null which means that okay the some space would have been missing for sure so it's not a complete binary tree and if it is not then we can just push in the childs of our root node which is the left child and the right child and we go to go ultimately if everything goes well which means my false is never returned which means that okay i have just iterated on every node and i am good every node satisfy the condition of being complete in a binary tree and i can just return a true and it's just have that okay we are moving on every node but it's just a small optimization that i can just see okay a root nodes if its left child is null then i should make sure that okay in the right part in the right child nothing should be null right sorry if the left is null yeah the right should also be null if it is not which means that if the right has something or the other which is not null which means that okay left i have encountered null but right i have not encountered null which means that okay right has something left ha is not having something so it is not a complete binary tree and that's the same condition and it will just reduce the operations in half because as we know at every level the number of nodes becomes double of that other level which means that if i have this node like this so you can see easily that here the number of nodes were three and the last level it just became four right in total at every step so basically if we are having operations earlier let's say we are having operations let's say seven operations we were having but now it will just reduce to three operations which is just half of the seven operations so it was the bfs thing which we saw let's see the tfs it's also pretty simple same logic okay before our node a not null node should be there which means that before node if the null node has been found i am screwed uh, how we will check it via tfs because it just have this kind of iteration it not traverse from left to right in which i can check okay but here is a smart thing that if we write the tree in the form of an array we can assign every element which means every node an index which means that if i write this form which this is tree in the form of an array which means let's say if i write one two three four five null and seven write in form of array and i just index it as one two three indexing starts from one let's say so indexing would be one two three four five six seven so you will always see that okay a root node will have an index i and its child left child will have an index 2 into i and the right child will have an index 2 into i plus 1 it's for sure every any time you let's see you like you let's say you say uh, a node 2 its index is 2 its left child index is 2 into 2 which is 4 its right child index is 2 into 2 plus 1 which is 5 and that's the case in this problem how that okay i know for sure that in total the number of nodes are what in total the, in total the number of nodes are six right so for sure at every point of time some index value some index value it should be less than equal to that my number of nodes six but here as you can see that the index is seven and the total number of elements were have been six which means that if I have put, put in the array, then the index value of this node is 7. Which means that it should, it is saying indirectly, okay, it is landing at the 7th index. But if it would have been complete, it would have landed at the 6th index. Because the in maximum total number of elements are 6. Which means that one, one space have been left empty. It's the only reason that it has jumped to the location index seven understanding that okay if the number of nodes are six only then for sure every element should have been completed by six only if any element is actually landing at some place which is beyond six which means beyond the number of total number of elements which means that okay i have encountered an element which 
before which null would for sure be there because if the index is 7 which means some extra indexes have been left out in the previous thing and some extra indexes have been left out for sure a null would have been placed there and that's the point in this problem that for every root we have this left index and the right index i'll just check okay if this index thing if this index thing is more than my total number of nodes if it is more means that index has landed beyond my number of indexes allowed and what is the number of indexes allowed it is up till the number of elements in the tree if it is landed after that which means a few elements in before it for sure would have gone null if it is a condition then it is not a complete binary because it has skipped a few indexes and by skipping i mean a null would have for sure been placed here while in the other case if it would not have been the case so everything would have been like like this which means that you can easily see that okay index was more than nodes in this example if you see that every index is actually in this bound only which means that every elements index which means one two three four five six its index just lies by um, bounded by the total number of elements and then i can say okay every index was fixed packed up till its place and no, in, no index has gone beyond its actual limit which means number of nodes and i can say okay I am good that okay indexing and total number of nodes are okay okay to me and I can just say okay it's complete and the only condition that we have to see if my index of any element has gone beyond the total number of elements which means that I have skipped a few indexes in between which for sure would have been null and thus I can say okay it's not a complete binary tree let's see the code quickly it's pretty simple Firstly, we count the total number of nodes, which is this function as standard EFS. If the root is null, then it runs zero. Else, just count the root and the number of nodes in the left child, the number of nodes in the right subtree. The number of nodes in the left subtree, the number of nodes in the right subtree. It just returns the whole in, in total the number of nodes in my tree. And it will help me make sure, okay, the indexes should at max be up till this nodes. If it is beyond, so I sure, for sure have skipped some of the indexes, which means the skipped indexes would for sure have the null value. Now I just go on to this helper function, which will actually help me find out, okay, is it a complete binary tree or not? Which means the base condition as above we saw, if the root is null, then I just return a true because it's not hampering me anything. While if the index is more than the total number of nodes, I need to return a false because I have skipped some of the values before, which is for sure null and thus it's not a complete binary tree. Else, I'll just uh, check the same thing on the left subtree. It should satisfy and the right subtree both should satisfy so that I can make sure, okay, now my binary tree is complete. So I hope that you guys understood the complete logic. It was just that, okay, I should not skip any values before my particular node. If it is done, uh, in BFS we saw, we can iterate from left to right and check, okay, if some values have been occurred done. In DFS, we find out a smart way by choosing the way of indexes and the number of nodes and a relation between them. And with that, we help to find out, okay, if it is possible or not. So I hope that you guys liked it. If yes, then do hit the like button. It helps me do this a lot. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Take care.